Loudness, Street Life Dream, CBT Guitar Lesson for Jason, Akira, man, he has the most, uh, sometimes very abstract, man, you can't predict what he's going to do, I just love Akira's style, he's awesome, so the tuning is standard in this, I got the first and second solo, I didn't get the outro, but Jason, there's tons of stuff for you in here, <clears throat> section one, let's jump right in, um, four, five, six, seven, and this is on the AD string and you can experiment with fingering obviously we're going to bar well not obviously but we're going to bar that and then how you want to get up to the seven is fine you can go just experiment with that three open e's palm muted then think of it as this for the next part it's an e5 power chord so seven a nine d you're going to hit that chord palm mute the open e string twice and do that three times so it's if you connect those so you end up having this three count and then two count two count two count on your palm mutes right and then start it over but check it out one two one two or one two one two four okay so you cut off the last two open e's that were palm muted in the first part that's the only difference and he just lets it ring so that second one goes then you're going to go back to the first one that we did then the ending Start it over, four, five, six, seven, and then seven, nine. So you'll go from E5 to D5 to C5. Remember, a five chord is just a root five, it's a power chord. Um, and that's section one, and that goes two times through. Section 2A, 26 seconds in, it's kind of like a build off of section one, it's the verse. So you're going to start it the same way, but check it out. You're going to go three times of that. That's the first quarter of section one. Start it again. Or two, so it's three palm mutes, two palm mutes, two palm mutes, two palm mutes. Three times of all that. One time being this. And do, do that three times. That's going to lead you back in. Um, can I call it that? Can you call uh, um, it that? So then the, to end section 2A, you're going to go four, five, six, seven, nine, seven, nine. Pretty cool part. So you got. And then 5 4 AD twice to open E, quick rest. So. And then 5 4 again on the AD. Twice, open E twice. To 3 2 AD twice. So I like these chords. He could have just did root 5s, doing root 3s in here. Okay, which are kind of the start of a major chord. So you have. That's how section 2A ends. Section 2B, 39 seconds in. It's just a short part. Um, 2, 4, AD to 3, 5, AD twice. And then open E, 3, E bend, open E. Open, open, 2, 3, A, D, G, B. So that's a, basically a D chord. Open E, 2A, 3, E. So let's do that slow. Really cool, a lot of stuff. I like the mixture of chords with notes with the bigger open position chords. Like three different concepts in there. Four counting the bend. It's killer. But, Jason, you got your work cut out for you on this one, man. This is, it's roudness, man. Okay, let's turn it over to the top of page three. Um, some clean stuff. It was. I wish I could hear it a little louder. Um, cause he's actually our page eating some stuff, but I think we're right in there. Um, so, 
So you're going to go 2A, open D, 2G, open B. Go down, 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 up. You can experiment with fingering on this as well. 3A, 2D, open G. Now these are holds, so make sure you don't go... It's... Move it up a whole step to 5, 4, open. Back a whole step to 3, 2, open, open. So you have a 4, 3, 3, 4 on your notes. A3E. Love it, man. And then open E, 2A, 2D, open G, so that's an E minor. We want to pick down, 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 up. 2E, and these are holds, uh, and then open D and G. 3E, open D, open G, so you have. Got the upstroke in there. Why how, how do I do that? Okay, moving on from there, back to the second fret E, open D and G. So your root is open E, 2D, open G, basically E minor. And then um it's not done, I don't think. Yeah, that is. That's section 3A. Okay, and that's going to go two times, so one time is... Okay, two of those. Of course, this is clean. It's doing some lead fillers kind of over this, but this is really the main guitar. Um, minute seven in, section 3B, we're going to start this with a standard A minor chord. Open A, 2D, 2G, and 1B. And then our open high E. What we're going to do is go, and I would follow the picking in your tabs on this, go A, D, G, B, E, B, G, B. So, actually, 2A, um, and it's the same picking. So, and then you got to kick into some distortion. I'm going to go... 3 2 A D, 5 4, 3 2 rest, 1 2 3 4. So. Then you'll see uh, double dots that tells you to go back and go. Then this time you're going to go. So you're going to start at the same. 3 2, 5 4, 3 2. No star the second time. Instead, go right back to 5 4. And that's all on the A and D. So it's. Um, solo number one, a minute 18 in, 17 high E, we're going to bend, hold, release. And then 15, pull 14 on the E twice. And then 17 B, bend. 17 E, 17 B, pre-bend, release, pull 15. So all that is. Seventeen sixteen B G vibrato. So okay, fourteen on the G. What you're gonna do is kind of a George Lynch kind of riff. Um, you'll go fourteen G hammer sixteen pull fourteen slide twelve. Or you can think, you know, Oz and Mike. 14G, so 12 pull 11G vibrato, so it's 124, palm mute 1412 on the D, pinch 11G, so it's, and then we gotta turn the page, or grab the new page. Um, uh, palm mute 12 D and A, I would use the middle for both on that. Um, so we have a picture of a chord. 10 pull 9 A to 12 E vibrato. So. Okay, 
actually it'll slide down. 127 pinch 5D and bend a half step. To 7A vibrato. 5D pull to 4 to 7A. On mute 5A. 7A pinch vibrato. And slide. So that little run is. Okay. 130, we're going to go 7D, hammer 9, same thing on the G, and then bend it. 10B, 9G, and it's still bent, so. Whammy, four times and then drop it down. Bunch of repeats until we get to uh, 225, which is right before the solo, which is just 5-4 AD. And then he goes into his, you know, that type of vibe. It's uh, palm muting, alternate pick, 10-12-14 on the E and the A. Ascending, descending. So go. See. And then start it over just ascending. It's kind of a Paul Gilbert style thing. Keep the palm meeting and alternate picking. Go 10, 12, 14, 12, 10 on the D. And then on the A, 14, 12, 10, 12, 14. So it's descending, ascending. So it's 10, 12, 14 on the D. So you have. On the G, 11, 12, 14, 12, 11. So that's ascending, descending. You'll, you'll get the pattern part way through. You'll see what he's doing. On the D, you go 14, 12, 10, 12, 14. So it's descending, ascending. So. Jason, did I do that to you? I sure did. Take everything you just played and move it a whole step up. Move everything up. You'll end on the 14G vibrato. So. Bend the 10B, hold, release, pinch 8G, bend, release, vibrato. 234, 2G, slide to 4. And this was pretty interesting, man. Some of his note choice. Um, you're sliding, and then we're going to go pinky 7B, slide 8, slide 7, slide 5. So it's... And then, actually, you may want to. Why well, do you use your pinky? I got my pinky for that. But you can experiment with fingering. D string, we're going to go 7th fret with the pinky, pull to 5 4, and then pick, pull 5 4 D. So if you subgroup that, 5 3 E. Vibrato, slide up. So now you end up uh, with uh, 236, 15 on the E, pull to 14, and then down up on the 15, pull 14. 17, pull 15 on the B. Oops. I gotta put a new pickup in this so I can get my better sustain. And then uh, this is really cool. 
Um, didn't realize Akira did these type of sweeps back then, but you're going to go up, 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 up. 14 on the E, 15B, 14G. So there's our D major shape. 17, 16 on the D, up, down. So it's it's really cool. Um, 238, you're going to go 14D, 17, 16.